Hi, I'm Cleo. I'm a senior at Lincoln Southwest. That's T. Steven. <laughs> and, and this is after Neil, H Neil Hilborn's The Future. <clears throat> I saw the future, and in it, everything was OK. I came to terms with my depression and anxiety. We could finally coexist. I was living a satisfying and full life. I was with a person I love, and they made me feel safe. They smelt like the color green, the kind of green when you go outside and it's just rained and you can smell the freshness. When I was in the, when I was in the room with this person, it felt like walking into the warm sun after being in a dark, cold tunnel for what seems like years. It didn't matter where we were. This person was what made me feel at home. Things just felt at peace. The storm was over and the birds were back out singing their songs. Like all of what I'm feeling right now, the sadness, the loneliness, this, the uneasiness of everything just faded away and was a distant memory. Just background noise to what future me was listening to. She was listening to the sound of the person she loved talking about the president-elect border collie, yes, and how the pup president declared that all humans must scratch dogs behind their ears whenever possible. I used to think I was afraid of thunderstorms. My therapist told me that the reason people are scared of thunderstorms is because it's something bigger than them. When I saw the future, the, that version of myself could enjoy the sound of a thunderstorm without wanting to cry because she no longer felt so small and out of control. She felt the same about her future because she was content with what she had. Future me felt so, so empowered by the control she had over her life. She became the wind and the rain.